This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. All right. Well, good morning. Happy 4th of July. This uh, medical minute is somewhat related to 4th of July. It has to do with hand injuries and specifically has to do with fingernail avulsion injuries. So, you know, sometimes we see bad hand injuries from either a crush or some other kind of injury and the person's fingernail is off or partially off. And there's been kind of this long question of what to do with that fingernail. You know, generally, it's kind of recommended to put that fingernail back on if possible. It's sometimes a little bit of a pain. You kind of have to jam it back into the nail fold and suture it back in in a couple places. And the person has to follow up with the hand surgeon or primary care doctor, get those sutures out, kind of get that dealt with. Sometimes the nail is, you know, gone or too mangled. And then we try and put in a artificial stent into that nail fold to keep the nail bed open and you're trying to like cut a little piece of foil or some kind of plastic wrapper from the suture material sometimes used. So there's different things you can use and then suture that in. That's kind of a pain. But, you know, there's also a thought that maybe you don't need to do anything. Maybe just, you know, letting the nail bed heal and letting the nail grow back in over time is enough. So there's been a couple studies, there's been some, you know, mixed results. And there was a recent study that looked at pediatric patients and it basically either did the traditional surgical where you put the nail back in, suture back into place, or nothing. Just clean it, put a non-adhesive dressing on there, and see it six months if there's a difference. And when they looked at it, there was basically no difference in how well the nail, the new nail looked. Um, there was, you know, no difference in satisfaction. So, you know, I think it's nice if you don't have to, you know, especially with a pediatric patient to try and get like a little nail back into place, either sedate a kid or, you know, hold the screaming kit to put a nail back in if you can just let the nail heal on its own um you know kind of better for the patient better for us so you know another study uh, another option and uh, thanks guys have a good holiday thank you the emergency medical minute would like to thank our sponsor swedish medical center for helping fund our nonprofit organization and make this podcast possible donations are essential to our organization to cover operational costs and fund the creation of our online courses offering ama pra Category 1 credits. So if you enjoy our show, and if you're able to make a one-time or recurring donation towards our organization, any amount is helpful. Please click the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.